family. Today we are going to be talking December and Christmas seasonal living favorites. If you're new to Paper and Glam, I'm Lisa Marie and I'm so excited that you're here. We are a community that's all about seasonal living. So we have this monthly series called Seasonal Living Favorites or December Seasonal Living Favorites, Christmas Seasonal Living Favorites, whatever the month that we are walking through happens to be. And we use these seasonal living lists to really be a kind of guidepost for ways to stop and celebrate the month and celebrate what's special about the season that we're in. So our 2018 lists and all of our seasonal living lists are free to download online. And the current month right now is of course December, but we just released our 2019 seasonal living list. So we do sell these beautiful postcards and then the current month is always free if you want an extra one or you want to use it as your wallpaper on one of your electronics that is up for you. And I wanted to share with you guys a really beautiful note I got from a member of our community named Jay Smith. I asked your permission to share this. It really inspired me and I hope that it will inspire you as we go through the Christmas season and as we embark on a brand new year of seasonal living together. Jay Smith writes, I've been following you since your Denver apartment tour and that was my very first YouTube video in, I think it was October 2013. So I moved out of, no, 2014? 2013. I can't remember. 2013. I had just signed a new lease on my second big girl apartment so I wanted to film my first apartment before I no longer lived there and I made my first YouTube video with that home tour and the rest is history. So I've been following you since your Denver apartment tour. I just received my 2019 living list cards. They are beautiful. I'm not consistent enough with planners to warrant purchasing one. However, your seasonal living lists offer easy and practical suggestions to help me mark time in a fun manner. My goal is to try to do at least one activity on the list for each month. Please continue offering us these beautiful planners and accessories. I love the idea of seasonal living lists because they can be an easy way to try something new. Also, time is flying. God willing, these cards will help to remind me to take time to stop and smell the roses, enjoy the simple things, and appreciate much that may be taken for granted. Also, since time is moving so quickly and we often forget just as quickly, I would like to scrapbook the cards in a memory book so that I can look back over the year and say, oh yes, I remember that. Jay Smith, thank you so much for taking the time to leave me and the community such a thoughtful comment. You're, you just beautifully articulated the heart behind Paper and Glam and also the heart behind our seasonal living list. So thank you to Jay Smith and those of you who have purchased our 2019 list. It really is a small way to help us do what we do here at Paper and Glam. So let's jump into December seasonal living. So the first thing on our list is our Christmas Manny Petty. So my very favorite December nail polish color is Give Me a Lido Kiss by OPI. It is this really classic red, but when you look at it closely, it sparkles. So it's not like full on glitter, but it still gives you that little extra spark when you're least expecting it. So I will link that below if you are looking for a perfect seasonal color for this December. And then also we have a list of all my favorite nail polish colors in our seasonal living group. So if you're new to Paper and Glam, we have four Facebook groups that are kind of the four pillars of Paper and Glam. So we have a God and Glam Bible study that we're going to talk about in just a second really briefly. We have a book club, we have a planning group, and then our seasonal living group. So I have created lists of like my favorite teas and my favorite movies and all the things that we reference in this series. So if you ever are getting your nails done or looking for a fun seasonal movie to watch, those are up on Facebook for you. Okie doke. Moving to our second seasonal living celebration in December, which is Advent. So Paper and Glam is very much a Christian living brand. And so we have a Bible study, like I just mentioned, and we have a Bible study called God and Glam that walks through the Christian year or the liturgical year. And so we have a reading for every day. We actually just started with the start of Advent, which is on the second. And if you are just joining us and you're just getting connected and or maybe you haven't had a chance to start yet, you're in good company because I haven't either. We have been shipping like little elves here at Glam HQ and you know, it's the start of the Christian year. It kind of very, um, advantageously and, and um, it, it, 
It starts at a time, I will say, that it's the very hardest to be reading your Bible. And when I first started reading the Christian year, I was like, gosh, why is the Christian New Year start in the very busiest time of the year? But it's also the time when we do need to be stopping and slowing down more than ever. And I haven't had a chance to do that, but I very much look forward to spending some time going through our Advent readings. And if you haven't had a chance, girlfriend, we can start today. The first two weeks of our Bible study are up free online so you can get a feel for the reading and kind of what it's all about. And if you're waiting for your Bible study to arrive, uh, you don't have to wait to get started on the Advent readings. So that's how I celebrate Advent. Oh, and I also have an Advent wreath, but you guys will see that in the Christmas home tour, which we are going to be doing next Saturday. Next on our list is Savor Peppermint Lattes. No December is complete without a peppermint latte. And I have some K-cups that are peppermint bark that I just love. I look forward to getting these Donut Shop Peppermint Bark K-cups every December. I'm not a huge K-cup person. I'm kind of a coffee snob, but these are like must-haves. So they are just... They're not too like um, light like some of the K-Cups can be. They're a nice medium roast and they're also not too pepperminty and not too sweet. Peppermint lattes are usually like a lot of sugar for me. So I take down the pumps, but these I don't have to worry about kind of that crazy sugar boost. And if you just like want like one little cup in the afternoon, I love a little K-Cup for that. The next thing on our seasonal living list is cookie day, which is December 4th. So I missed it this year. This is our first year celebrating cookie day and I'm sure that lots of us will indulge in Christmas cookies this month. So even if you miss cookie day like me, there's plenty of time to get that one in. And I thought I'd show you a few fun stocking stuffers. We're going to just call this candy day because I found the most fun candy at Trader Joe's. So the first one I got, I'm totally obsessed with and I'm not going to be able to open the bag because I will eat it. So I'm going to take it home to Napa with me and it is Scandinavian Tidings Gummy Candy. So I'm not a huge fan of gummies, but I love these. So we had an amazing intern working with us. Amanda, hi. I know that you watch our videos and I just miss you so much. So she's from Sweden and so she taught me all about Swedish candy and Scandinavian candy, which is what turned me on to these Trader Joe's gummies. They look so fun in like an apothecary jar and they're also delicious. My mom who doesn't even like candy loves them. And like I said, I gotta take them home to Napa because I will eat like the entire bag, it's terrible. Next, I got a few fun stocking stuffers. I'm also gonna take home to Napa to put in stockings. These I got for my mom. It's peppermint bark popcorn. I think these are new this year at Trader Joe's and I know we all love our Trader Joe's seasonal living. So. It's like the cutest little reindeer with his little nose, and I thought this would be fun for Christmas movie night too. And then I got champagne gummies. One of my family members is obsessed with champagne, and I thought that this would be a really cute thing to put on his little present. Next on our seasonal living list is gingerbread day on December 12th. So I am actually doing a little sugar fast until Christmas Eve because you know what, I don't know about you, but in busy seasons is when I tend to go off the rails with like sugar. So I'm trying to kind of scale it back a little until I get home, I'm gonna be home for like 10 days. And like I said in other videos, Glam Mom is just like constantly feeding me. So <laughs> trying to get ahead of it. So I have kind of an option that you might not think of for gingerbread day, but a more healthy choice, which is this gingerbread tea, which I love. I've been drinking it since I was a kid. I just love celestial seasonings. I have been, drinking all the tea and shipping all the orders. And it's just been really fun. This one and sugar cookie sleigh ride, which are both herbal. So I've also been trying to lay low on the caffeine, but this one's just so darn cute for celebrating gingerbread day. And further along in the video, I have another cute little idea for celebrating gingerbread day. A few new teas while we're on the topic of teas. I invested in this uh, four pack of Christmas teas from Stash. I absolutely love this tea brand. They make my very favorite tea of all time, which is Breakfast in Paris, which you will see again when we get to our April season of living. But this is also like my new favorite little routine. They have Christmas morning, which is a green tea and black tea. And it's not very festive. Like it's not like cinnamony when you taste it, but it's very invigorating and warming. And then the Christmas Eve tea is an herbal edition and it is a merry blend of spearmint and sweet holiday spices and that one definitely has some seasonal vibes so i've been loving that one especially in the afternoons or at night when you're like up doing stuff and you want like a little boost but you're trying to lay low on the caffeine 
that's perfect. And then Christmas in Paris is also new. I was drinking this one during our discussion of Ernest Hemingway's The Movable Feast, which takes place in Paris, and I felt like it was, it was a very appropriate tea. It has lots of chocolate tones for my chocolate lovers. It says, luxurious chocolatey flavor paired with lavender and cool mint. So I love that they have a Christmas edition of my favorite tea. And then lastly, holiday chai. So I haven't I haven't opened this pack yet. I actually had like samples of these three, but holiday chai is a new one for me. It says a festive chai made with warm gingerbread and sweet rum flavors. So another one that would be perfect for a gingerbread day. Next on our list is ugly sweater day. This is a favorite of mine when during my Denver days, my friends and I had an annual ugly sweater party and it was so much fun. So ugly sweater day is the third Friday in December every year. And I really aspire to have myself an annual ugly sweater day party. Don't you guys think that would be so fun? So over the years, I have collected a variety of ugly sweaters and I thought I would show you my little collection. First off, we have Miss Sunday the Bears because you know, no seasonal celebration is complete without Sunday celebrating with me. And this one is just so cute and she jingles when she walks. She of course doesn't like it, but I love it. <laughs> Next, I have this amazing 80s ugly sweater. Oh my gosh, I got this at a vintage boutique in Denver and I mean, it is fabulous. This might be one of my favorites. It's one of two. Like, it's just so gaudy and amazing. And these beads are just like so heavy and they jingle when you walk and Ah, oh, there's nothing like a little corny Christmas stuff, you know? This one is kind of like a new vintage sweater. So it's from Wild Fox, which is one of my favorite little sweatshirt brands. And it's kind of like their take on like a fabulously awful and like kind of scary like reindeer sweatshirt. I don't know about you, but those reindeers, they look kind of like evil. <laughs> and it's fun for like a pink Christmas look. This one I got at Target two years ago. And I mean, how fabulously terrible is this? I just love champagne and I feel like you could wear this for um, like New Year's Eve too and just like be silly and it's always really cold in Napa so I feel like I can finally use all my sweaters from my Denver days. Lastly, this is my favorite. This one you guys have seen me wear in videos and it is also from a vintage store in Denver and it's just very glam Christmas. It kind of matches my little backdrop and if it wasn't so darn hot, I would be wearing it. Next is Read by the Christmas Tree. This is one of my favorites. I think I've said they're all my favorite at this point, you guys, but they're all my favorite. So I wanted to show you my new Christmas ornaments. So we have new Christmas ornament on our November seasonal living list. But when we filmed that video in the beginning of November, I hadn't quite acquired my new ornaments for the year. So I actually got this cute little pizza on Black Friday at Target. And it's just like a glammy pizza. I went Black Friday shopping for the first time this year and it was so much fun. I actually went to Target in Napa after the gym and it was like, I have not been to Target in like two years except for LA and it was so well merchandised. It was so fun. I totally see why you guys love Target and they had some awesome ornaments. So I got this vintage red one because I went to Vintage High and I just have such fond memories of my time there and it's a vintage red 2018. I thought this would be a perfect one to add to my tree and it's just a good reminder of where I come from. And then lastly, this is my favorite new Christmas ornament. I got a flamingo. How much does this look like, Clarence? If you are just joining us, we have this, uh, we have a summer collection that features this big inflatable flamingo who I took to stagecoach with me and I asked you guys to name him and you named him Clarence. And so he has been a member of the Paper and Glam family ever since and he features prominently in our summer collection. So the fact that they have this adorable blown glass ornament that looks just like him, it had to come home with me. I was like, no, don't go looking at the Christmas decor. Don't do it. And then I saw this one like as it was passing by and it was downhill. There's a Christmas home decor haul next from all the stuff that I got during that shopping trip, but we'll stick to the video at hand. As far as actually reading by the tree this December, we are reading Skipping Christmas by John Grisham together as a community. We have a book club, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, and we read a book a month together. So this month, Skipping Christmas is like the perfect, of course, Christmas read. It's seasonal, it's really short, it's really easy to get into. If you're like me, I have a really hard time reading when I have a lot going on, like my brain just can't like get into a book. So if something is like beautifully written, I definitely can't be reading in December. And this is just really accessible and I've had it on audio when I'm just working around the house and it's been just a fun 
quick little read. So we are going to be discussing this on the 20th, Thursday the 20th, live on our book club channel at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. I would love for you to join us whether you have had an opportunity to read along or not. And if you are reading along, our 2019 book club planner kit is for sale and it comes with these cute little bookmarks. They are double-sided. We spent a lot of time and love designing cute little bookmarks to include with your kits. So you have a bookmark for every month if you wanna mark your Paper and Glam book club reads or just your favorite seasonal living reads. And I will see you the 20th for our little discussion of this. Next on our list, we have Go See Christmas Lights. So I don't have anything to show you guys for this one, but I'm sure we all love to drive around our neighborhood and see all of the fun, festive Christmas lights. You know, being from a small town, if you have like a legit decorated holiday display, they like put it in the paper. And so my mom and I, for years, we go and we look at like the most decorated house. And it was a tradition with my friends growing up. We would always go every year and go look at the most like blown up crazy Christmas houses in our town. And so I put that on the list. And if you're new to Paper and Glam too, we make really cute stickers where you bring to life all of these seasonal living scenes for your planner so you can mark down those little celebrations. On to sip Christmas coffee. So my Bones coffee obsession continues. And just to catch everybody up, Bones coffee is this like artisan coffee brand. They make the cutest, cutest, well that too, the um, most like well done, freshest, all the things coffee for the coffee snob. Plus the cutest little labels. It does have a skull in it. So if you're like seasonal living, like why is there, like why is the Santa like all nightmare before Christmas? That's like, you know, Bones Coffee, that's their shtick. So I got their holiday sample pack and I got white chocolate peppermint bark. This is kind of like their best seller as I understand it for Christmas. And then I got Jingle Bones. One little blender though, I've mentioned, I've been kind of busy and I accidentally ordered the whole bean instead of the ground. So I haven't tried it yet. And now I'm also in the market for a grinder. It's been on my list for the longest time. It's just one of those things I haven't had time to research. So if you have like the ideal Christmas Christmas coffee grinder so I can grind my Christmas coffee I would love to know I just want one that's like really compact and also really easy to clean so if you can help me out with that research that'd be awesome as a self-proclaimed coffee snob I should probably be grinding my coffee fresh you know what I mean also in the holiday sampler is eggnog and Christmas Candyland. I wish I had a review of these for you guys but stay tuned we'll have to chat about them in the next seasonal living video I cannot wait to try these once I found myself a coffee grinder. And lastly, Gingerbread Man. This would also be a fun way to celebrate Gingerbread Day. Now you may be thinking, what is Christmas coffee? So we, in the Paper and Glam community, have this cute little tradition where we take peeps and we put them in our coffee. Not only is it the most fun little Instagram post with like your mug and your peep floating around in your coffee, hashtag paper and glam seasonal living, cause I wanna see. It's also just a cute little festive thing to do. If you have kids, you can do hot chocolate. And I don't know, I started this a few years back and I grew up with peeps. My mom would always get them for me like every occasion. And I was like, I need to do something that's kind of like adultish with these. They also make a really cute display. As you'll see in my Christmas home tour, I like to put these in like a little apothecary jar. So I have this cute little Christmas coffee display and they just make me smile. They're whimsical and playful. And that's kind of what we do here at Paper and Glam. Life can get serious, you know? And when you have a Christmas coffee peep hanging out in your mug, it's kind of hard to not stop and smile. And then I got this little four pack. So it also came with trees and snowman. And I found these on Amazon and they're actually way less expensive than at Target, which is exciting because I like to fill up this apothecary jar, like I said, and it kind of takes a lot of peeps. So I was really excited to find this four pack. I actually discovered it with the four pack of Halloween peeps and it was too late, but I got it for Christmas. So I'll link it down below. Along with our Christmas coffee theme, I wanted to show you these adorable planner clips. They are by Emily Speaks. She's been a longtime member of our community and I've showed you one of her clips in the last few videos, but she made the cutest Christmas coffee planner clip to commemorate our community and just this adorable little tradition we have together. And then this gingerbread one is also a cute way to celebrate gingerbread day and matches perfectly with our gingerbread sticker in our December planner kit. And if you haven't grabbed your December planner kit, there's still some in the shop. I actually discounted them already because in case you wanted to jump in and get some December glam for the end of the month, but it's, it's there for you. And it won't even be the end of the month because it'll you know ship this week and so you'll get it about halfway through the month so 
it's half price. I want you guys to jump in to this seasonal living lifestyle if you're kind of on the fence. I hope that's a little incentive. Next on our seasonal living list is first day of winter. And I don't have a really like celebration for this one, but I would love to know if you guys have a fun way to celebrate the first day of winter. All I really do is put my little sticker in my planner and say like, okay, it's a brand new season, but I'm sure you guys are so creative and you have so many amazing traditions of your own. I would love to hear what you guys do to kind of mark like that rollover from one season to another. Christmas movie night. So I have a little tradition of getting a new Christmas movie every year, and I've been doing it for maybe 10 years now. So I have a nice little Christmas movie collection, and I take it home to Napa, and like we watch it together as a family, and it's really fun. So this year, I got Christmas with the Cranks. Well, I actually got it last year because we are reading Skipping Christmas, which we just talked about, but this is actually the movie adaptation. So they renamed it for the movie. So I snagged this last year because I wanted to show it to you when we did the big unveil for the 2018 reading list, but I haven't had a chance to watch it. So this kind of counts for this year. So this is my new addition to my Christmas movie library. And I will show you my movie collection for during the Christmas home tour. And you can tell me if there's more that I am missing, but I love a Christmas movie night. I think that it's a, uh, it's a fun way to like have a little um, kind of like low investment um, activity where like, you know, it's kind of hard to open our home sometimes, especially during busy seasons because you feel like you have, you know, it needs to be clean and you might want to have like this like fancy charcuterie board or something like that. But I feel like a movie night's a nice like the bar is low. You can just like pop some popcorn, get some candy and invite your friends over, your family over for a fun little little night in. Next is make red velvet pancakes. I don't have anything for this one, but this little tradition started because of a place in Denver called Snooze, which was our favorite French place in Denver. They have actually since expanded to California. And also here in LA, we have a restaurant called The, Glid the Griddle, which all make the most amazing red velvet pancakes. So when I moved from Denver, Glam Mom and I started trying to figure out how to replicate this recipe. And it's a fun one. We actually relocated this celebration to February, if you have our 2019 seasonal living list. So you'll hear about this one again, but they're pretty darn festive. Some nice red pancakes to start your Christmas morning or maybe your Christmas Eve or your day after Christmas or your Valentine's Day. Sip homemade with sale. So this is a tradition that my friends that I grew up with in Napa and I started. So when we were kids, my mom would serve us these big mugs of spice cider and we would like sit in our living room by the tree and open presents. And we still do that after dinner. We actually do the um, adult version of that <laughs> with some brandy or some whiskey. And I got these really cute mugs that, that I thought would stand in for this seasonal celebration. And these are from the Target dollar spot. So this one says, be merry, be bright. And this set says, cup of cheer and snuggle season. So I thought these would look cute stacked up in my Christmas coffee station. And oh, you guys know I love a seasonal mug. It's like my obsession. I have talked about a lot that I wanna do a seasonal living mug subscription next. I don't know when we'll get to it, but it's it's in the works, but I thought it'd be so fun to like do a subscription where you have your little seasonal coffee station and you have a new mug every month to add to it. It's actually kind of hard to find microwave safe, uh, good quality mugs. It can go in the dishwasher, go in the microwave, stand up to kind of like wear and tear. And so I thought that'd be fun. But anyway, the mug obsession continues. All right, we're on the home stretch sisters. So we have Christmas day. I'm sure you have your celebration all lined up for that one. And then we have New Year's Eve and glam goal setting. So 2019 goal setting. So we have this really cute offering for our planners that has a sticker for mapping out your goals for 2019 or for the new year. So I'm gonna do a video on this called Glam Goal Setting, but a quick little sneak peek if you haven't gotten your sticker set yet. We actually included this last year in the January planner kit, but it's a separate offering this year since we did Glam Winter in the January planner kit. And I really don't necessarily believe in New Year's resolutions. I like to make a New Year business plan where I have goals for every month and then I have goals for each area of my life. So like a spiritual goal, a mental goal, physical goal, a, um, let's see, what else? Let me do, use my cheat sheet. A creative goal, a professional goal, a financial goal, and then a goal for like giving and a goal for my community. So it kind of sounds like a lot and it can be. I don't necessarily think you should set a goal for every area of your life because it can be hard to um, manage unless you make them 
very, very um, achievable goals, but I really um, have subscribed to a holistic approach to goal setting. And when I created this sticker set, I felt like there wasn't a kind of map to help you set holistic smart goals for the new year. So I created this Glam Goals Kit and I hope that it helps you set some, some new year resolutions and see those through. So we'll talk about those in a couple weeks when we do that video, but I wanted to give you a little sneak peek at the offering. It's been shipping like crazy and you guys have been loving this, which makes me so excited. I wasn't sure exactly how it would do since it came out in the planner kit that goes out to all our subscribers last year. But since you had it last year, I think that, and you want it again this year, that tells me that it helped you this year. And if it has, please leave me a comment below. I always love to hear your feedback and hear how the tools that we make um, help you uh, in your seasonal living or in your life or just in like day-to-day -day planning. I'd love to hear that. So that is a wrap on our December seasonal living. We will be back with some more seasonal living next Saturday with the Christmas home tour. And then I'm also going to be doing an unboxing of our entire January collection. So we can start planning for a glam new year together. And we are here to shipping up a storm. Um, we do have our order volume down. It got pretty heavy there for three weeks because we released our book club, we released our Bible study, we released our planners all in a row, like right on top of the Thanksgiving holiday. So we are we are pretty caught up today, of course, a subscription day, or it was yesterday, if you're watching this live. Uh, so we are working on getting those subscriptions home. The last day to place an order to receive it for the new year is December 20th. So P&G will be closed Saturday the 20. Is the 22nd Saturday the 22nd through the 1st and the shop of course will be open you can shop anytime and we'll be back shipping here on the 2nd but if you want your new year glam in time to plan over the holidays order by the 20th and we will be we'll get it out to you in time we have usually we have extremely quick turnaround if you're new to paper and glam we quote three business days but you guys know i spoil you with same day shipping pretty much always uh, except for this really high volume um time of year but we're nice and caught up again so i would love to send a hot pink mailer home to you and we'll talk all about that next sunday so thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up on your way out that really does support what we do here at paper and glam and help new people find us and if you are new to paper and glam and you found us i would love to know one of you guys said that you found us um through our book club channel which is really exciting so if you haven't subscribed to our book club channel go subscribe it's a fun way to read a book a month together and actually have someone to talk about it with when we finish and if you're a reader like me that's half the fun all right sisters until next